everyone. This is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verses are coming from Proverbs 24 verses 13 and 14. They read as follows. Eat honey, my son, for it is good. Honey from the comb is sweet to your taste. Know also that wisdom is like honey for you. If you find it, there is a future hope for you and your hope will not be cut off. I once spoke with a young adult who was just sort of starting out in life. They had just finished school. They were just about to kind of start the adulting journey. And we were talking about God and scripture and they were of the mindset that God was sort of boring, not fun. And the stuff out there, the stuff in the world. Now that was the fun stuff. That's where it was at. That was what we should be doing and enjoying and seeing. And God was just sort of too strict with rules and regulations. I tried to explain to them that that is not always the case, that all that glitters is not exactly gold, but it is hard to sort of change someone's mind when they have their mind set that something is better than what you are telling them than what that you have experienced. And the enemy uses the world to make things seem so fun and so appealing and so much better than all that boring God stuff that God is offering. I mean, partying is fun, sex is fun, having nice things and money and traveling the world, all that is fun. And here's the thing, it is fun. (laughs) It is, it really is. God created this world for us to have fun and to enjoy this life. He created these things for our enjoyment, but he created them in a way for them to bless us, to be a blessing to us. But the enemy likes to twist it and use it against us. Our scripture verse today tells us to eat the honey for it is good for you. Honey from the comb is sweet to the taste, meaning enjoy life, enjoy the things of this world. Yes, eat the cake, enjoy the cake, have people over, have a party, enjoy the love of your spouse and lots of it. Travel, see the world, enjoy the things that God has blessed us with. But then it tells us, yes, eat the honey, enjoy the good things of this world, have fun. But it also tells us, but also get wisdom because wisdom is just as good. Wisdom is what will allow you to keep enjoying those things for those things to be a blessing to you and not a burden. So what does it look like to eat the honey and have wisdom? It means have a slice of cake because it makes you happy because it tastes good because it brightens your mood but don't eat the whole cake in one city (laughs) because that's not good for your body. That is bad for you. Invite people over and have parties, throw your kids birthday parties, have your girls nights out, have your guys nights out, do all that with fun. Just make sure you're not going out of budget to do so, or you're not choosing entertainment that would cause you to sin. God created sex to be enjoyed between a husband and a wife. And I know you don't want to hear this and this will not be a popular message I'm about to say, but that is so not our society right now. I know, hear me out, but I'm sorry, but that's just not. God wants sex to be between a husband and his wife, between a wife and her husband. And he wants them to have lots of it, to enjoy it, but in the confines of what he has established to bless them, not to harm them. Also travel the world, see new places, enjoy that, but don't do it out of budget and do it with wisdom. God created this world for us to enjoy, for his kids to enjoy. He came to give us life and he came to give us life more abundantly. He wants us to enjoy this life, but he's also given us the spirit of self-control to act wisely and in balanced ways so that those enjoyments are a blessing to us and not a burden. That young adult I spoke with didn't realize that they could take everything that they had learned in the scriptures and still enjoy and have a wonderful life. God is not boring or not fun at all. God is amazing and he has great things for us to do and see and experience, but he does want us to do them in balanced and healthy ways so that those things don't harm us. They don't set us back. They don't end up cursing us, but instead they bless us and they're good for us and we're good for them. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we pray that when we are tending to go out of balance, Lord, we're tending to just sort of go to the extremes into some areas, God, that you would help us to just kind of get right back in balance, God, to come right back in line, God, and to use wisdom, Lord, and understanding, God, and the things that you've given us, Lord. Thank you that you came to give us life and life more abundantly. You want us to have a fun, fulfilling, 
happy life, Lord, but help us to remember, God, to do it in wisdom, God, for your glory, for our good, and actually for others' good, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. God bless you. Have a great day. God loves you very much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you next time. God bless you.